लेट्स फाइंड आउट सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ ए कोन रेडियस ऑफ दिस कोन आर एंड हाइट ऑफ दिस कोन इज कैपिटल एच हाइट ऑफ दिस वन कैपिटल एच नाउ एट ए डिस्टेंस वाई फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ दिस कोन आई सेलेक्ट वन डिस्क दिस इज डिस्क लेट से दिस डिस्टेंस दिस डिस्टेंस इज वाई एंड रेडियस ऑफ दिस डिस्क आर नाउ लुक एट दिस ट्राइंगल ए बी एंड सी we can write y divided by r is equal to h divided by capital r it means r is equal to r y divided by h now we know formula for center of mass for continuous distribution of a mass y cm is equal to 1 by capital m integration y dm now i have to find out dm dm is a mass of this disk so dm is equal to capital m divided by 1 by 3 pi r square h into pi r square dy c thickness of this element i am taking dy this is one disk i selected one disk radius of this disk r and thickness of this disk dy so what will be volume of this disk pi r square area into height dy now this thing is total mass divided by total volume of cone total mass m and total volume of cone this one so this we can say volume density of this cone so volume density multiply by volume of this disk is equal to mass of this disk so dm is a mass of this disk how to find out mass of this disk first i'll find out volume density volume density means total mass divided by total volume that is volume density and volume density multiply by volume of this disk is equal to mass of this disk and this thing is volume of this disk now if i use this formula in place of y y as it is in place of dm i'll write this value so what i'll get y cm is equal to 3m sorry this will be capital r square because radius of this one capital r radius of this cone capital r so 3m divided by pi r square h into pi r square dy integration and divided by this m see i am using this formula in place of dm i am writing this value and this y will be as it is in this formula in place of dm i writing this value so constant thing get cancel this mass get cancel by this mass pi get cancel so i'll get to y cm is equal to 3 divided by r square s integration r square y dy now 
in place of this r in place of this r i can write r y divided by h so if i write that one so 3 divided by r square h in place of this one this r i am writing this thing so what i'll get r square y square divided by h square and this y as it is dy what i did in place of this r i am putting this value now if i integrate this one first thing I, i'll take constant term outside this r square r square get cancelled i'll get 3 divided by s cube y cube dy and what will be limit for this one here if you see variable is y so minimum case i can select element over here and maximum possible case i can select element over here so if i select element over here y will be zero and if i select element over here y will be h so i'll integrate this one from zero to h so if i integrate this one i'll get 3 divided by s cube this one y power 4 divided by 4 and limit will be 0 to h so if i solve this one i'll get ycm is equal to 3 divided by h cube i'll put that limit h power 4 divided by 4 so if I calculate that will be equal to 3 h by 4. So if you see this cone, it's a symmetrical about x axis means left side mass. If you see this axis, left side mass is equal to right side mass. It means axiom of this one will be 0 itself. Axiom is equal to 0, but ycm will be 3 h divided by 4. So this is center of mass of a solid cone. 